question of the day. Can fish see in the dark? We'll go ahead and let the, the viewers answer that. But from my experiences, I'll say they'll bite in the dark. Because I've caught them in the dark. I fished in that tournament. Got second place. But, um, question of the day. Can they see in the dark? What do we get? Seven, eight trout? Seven, eight trout and then a ton of bass. 20, 30 bass. Yeah, it wasn't even going to be a video, but hey. That's it works one. out. Yeah, day one. Rich. What's up? Figured out the trout were biting, huh? Oh, tons. They were hitting it hard. Great day today. They were attacking. Juju over here slaying them too, as always. Over here catching bass and then flipping the trout, catching trout. Yarding them. So over here, we're going to cook up these trout. Druin's favorite. What are we going to cook? Are we going to fry them? Um, what are we going to do? Gonna bake them. We're going to bake them. Big bags. So we're going to see how it turns out. See, this is the best light right here. That's why I turn here. But I'm going to show you guys pretty much everything. I'm going to do my best. This wasn't even supposed to be like this. We were just getting here. We weren't even really supposed to make a video of that little trip there. But hey, it turned out a lot better than we thought it was going to. So now it turned into a trout catch and cook. A big old snake right here. I don't know if it's a gopher or what it is, but if you guys know what kind of snake this is, comment down below. Dang, he's a big one. <laughs> I should have grabbed him right there. Oh, dang, he's hissing like crazy. Thing sounds mean. You guys ready for this? Guys, we're out here. Got Juju here again. He's deciding to come out with us a little bit more often. Senior over there just lost a fish. And Richie, you back there. Hey. We're out here fishing. We're at Eagle Valley right now. And we're out here just trying to get the jitters off. We just got here trying to bass fish. Pretty much day one, we're going to stay here for a couple days and do just about everything. Tonight, we might even go after some frogs. Who knows? First bass to trip right there. A little guy picked it up and ran. We're looking for quite a bit bigger than this, though. I know that there's some monsters in here, so I'm gonna let this guy go. This was a raging river about a week ago, and people said that the bass weren't biting because of all the mud that came down off these mountains. Look at those mountains up there. All that up there. See something. See something. Hey, I don't even gotta say nothing. I'm throwing him back. So, uh, this is third one of the day, my first one. Adrian caught one, Richie caught one, now I caught one. Nice little bass. A little fighter. Caught another one, my second one. About nice the same as the last. Juju's on the board, that's two. two. Yep. He's on fire. He's had about five, he lost three. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I'm fishing the back of the boat. These three guys are awesome fishermen and they're catching fish left and right. I left that spot for you, I saw it now. <laughs> and they just let one by and here he is. Nice. Not bad, not bad looking fish. Little yep. belly on him. Get there more. you go, let's get him. I thought Juju was uh, gonna catch a little one, little bass. So I was like, eh, we ain't gonna film all these little bass. Next thing you know, he pulled up this trout. Hey, Julian was saying that if we don't catch anything, we're not going to eat tonight. <laughs> don't worry, I got you guys. It's four feet. Yeah, they're below us too. That's why he bit right next to the boat. And they're not only by the edge here. It was in those shadows. I told Aiden, I was like, that catches a fish. Beautiful rainbow trout. Nice. Oh, he got one. Richie just hooks up too. Richie hooks up. 
Yeah. Little bass popped off. <laughs> Tiny little dude. He was spinning though. Adrian was saying, big fish. Little guy, double up. Double up. Juju got one? Oh wow, Juju's hooked up right here. I can't even fish, I'm just being the camera guy. That's like fish 15. He, he got one bigger than you. Yeah. He's a little fatty. Hooks up on a big one. Oh, shoot. There we go. Julian wasn't lying, I guess. It was big. That is an Eagle Valley fish right there. Good two pounder. Look how fat those fish are. I'm telling you, they're trout fed out here. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing's a football. <laughs> Look at that. That's a belly on there. Look, Look how wide thing. this thing is. This thing it. might be pushing three pounds. I got a scale. I've got a weight. I'm guessing two and a half for this tiny little bass. Normally, a bass this small, um, normally for a bass this small, they're probably only a pound. But this thing's so fat, I'm about to show you the weight. Zero it out. Oh, 2.2. 2.24. <laughs> For this little <laughs> tiny fish, that's insane. He feels heavy. Is what's weird. Watch, hold him real quick. Just that's why I was guessing oh, yeah. three. He's, he feels he's solid. fat. He's solid. Dude, you got a hookup. Dude, you got a hookup. We'll come back to you right now. Oh, he was nice. He was nice. I got him. I got him off him. Richie, another hookup. Oh, nice one. Got him. Let me see. Oh, oh yeah, that's Jenny right there. Oh, there's a deer right there over here, dude. Oh, it's a buck. No, a little, a little doe. Like a little button buck. You can see the buck. Yes, on the spoon. Hey, we got foil, we got butter and everything. Right. First catch and cook, first night. Cook me up a trout lure. Look at that. Yeah, we need at least five trout. Adrian just hit a top water bass. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. Buzzbait. Yep, buzzbait. Black buzzbait. He's wow. It doesn't get any better than this. Reeling in a topwater bass with all of us here. And in the background, we got a deer taking a dump. Do a chop number four. That's what we need, chop number four, so we can all eat. That's all eat, yes. Tiger? tiger chop. There you go, Juke. He's bringing home dinner. Look at that. 20 hooks later. It's a rainbow. It's a What's your secret? Um, can't tell you. Or else all you guys are gonna catch it. Oh, it goes back in the water. <laughs> all right, a couple more. Richie might want seconds. What you got? What you got? Trout. Oh yeah. Oh, lucky. <laughs> it's a rainbow. Lucky. Through the legs, film. I was getting beautiful. Trout five, perfect. Juju with the hookup. Trout, and there it is. Six. What's your secret, G? You gonna share it or not? Uh, patience is the key to catching. <laughs> well, we're gonna go ahead and call it the first day a day. So we ended up catching how many was that? Four or five? Trout? Six? Yeah. Seven. I think we're at seven. Right? Seven trout? Yeah. So we're already at seven trout. That's plenty. Rainbow trout. We're gonna go ahead and load up the boat and then uh, see you at the camp. So we got a little fire rolling right here, just to have a fire pretty much, honestly. Kind of lure away the bugs. We've had so much rain that the bugs are just everywhere. The bugs are insane right now. We're out there and they're just tearing us up, but we're gonna go ahead and clean up these trout really quick. No. He's happy, he got the trout today. You had a bug on your leg. You see something? Yeah, that's it. So here's one of those trout they caught. Now, it's kind of hard to see, <laughs> but this trout right here, they're wild trout. And one way you can tell instantly that they're going to have colored meat, these things, meat's going to be like orange inside of them. Because if you look at these bottom fins, they're pretty much bright orange. You could tell that these ones weren't stocked in the lake. These ones hatched in the lake and grew up in that lake. So that's actually really cool. The wild ones always taste a whole lot better. Than the, than the farm raised ones. We're gonna fry these trout. As you can see, all the trout are right here. 
all we literally did was just gut them. Just gut them and that's it. You know, trout scales, some people scale them. They're so small though, that honestly, I don't even care. I just eat the scales because they're so small, I can't even taste them. And as you guys can see right there, seniors cleaning the pan. We're just gonna fry them. Frying them's the easiest and the safest bet when you're out here cooking. Throw some oil in the pan, some seasonings, and yeah, you got something good. Well, this is what happens, I guess, when you have no females come along the trip. We almost forget everything, and we don't even know what we have. <laughs> Literally, wherever you're like, do we bring this? Do we bring this? Richie actually came very prepared, though. Richie, you brought a lot of stuff. Yeah, all the time, man. <laughs> Gotta start bringing you on every trip now, because literally everything we forgot, he pretty much brought. If it wasn't for Richie, we'd have just regular season, seasonless fish, so. Fish fried garlic, salt, lemon, and oil. But pretty much the fish fry and the garlic salt first. Just on the fish just like that. Flip it. We don't have much, so pretty sparingly. Now that they're covered. This is Louisiana. Just like a fish, fish fry, huh? Fish fry. Yep, so we're just using the Louisiana fish fry now. Oh man, that looks good. Yeah, you can't forget to put a little bit inside of them. Come on. Now, they're ready to be thrown on the oil. I'm so hungry right now, I can eat a fart. All right, so the oil doesn't look quite hot enough. Get a little bit of liquid off this fish. A little bit of liquid and drop it. Drop it in there. Looks like it's frying. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's ready. All you do is just get a little bit of seasonings off the fish or whatever, just seasonings in general, and put it in there. And uh, if it starts frying up, then it's done. Now that looks awesome. Oh, yeah. I've said it many times and I'll say it again. You guys haven't gone out here and done this. You've got to try it. You've got to try it just like Senior said right here. Get See what here. it's about. Drink beer, eat fish, get bit by mosquitoes. If you're 21. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. Get bit by mosquitoes, definitely. It's just us dudes out here. Us men, I guess you could say. Except for maybe that one little boy right there. Come on, man. <laughs> but having a good old time. Did you? How important is lemon? It's so important without it, this earth would fall off its gravitational field. You know, It'll fall off its gravitational field. Maybe one day you'll finally be a better fisher than me. Get out of here, how are you? You change your underwear. <laughs> Gigi's busting down. Pull it quick. <laughs> you more some pop rods? Oh, yeah. All we have are plastic plates, but it'll work. Alright, we're going to go ahead and taste test these trout. Rich, you're going to be in it, huh? Yep. So these two are going to taste them first here, and I'm going to get some afterwards. Let me know what you think. Good old fried trout. Gigi's first. I couldn't wait to eat these. You don't even want to talk because I'm so hungry you want to dive in. <laughs> <laughs> but so if you had one too. facial expression you could do to express how good it was, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try me some of this real quick. Yeah, it's so good. Pretty dang good. I can't believe you guys didn't even squirt lemon on this yet. They really didn't squirt lemon it's, in there either. Juju, how important is lemon? It's so important this earth would fall off its gravitational field. Let's go ahead and squirt lemon on both ends. First bite right here, delicious trout. I think I swallowed a bone too. But, super good, man. That's actually really good. If you had one facial expression, what would it be? What is it, Uh, <laughs> That's pretty good. That's really good, huh? Job well I'm done. Fry the other ones a little bit more. Yeah, a little, a little bit more. Bit soft, I think it tastes I like good it though. Crunchy. You like crunchy? We'll do half and half because I, I like those ones actually. You guys want to know what a trout should look like when you're done eating it? <laughs> That's what it should look like right there. They're not clean enough. <laughs> We're probably going to just finish up this food and then call it a night. We're planning on just pumping videos out for you guys. Some more bass fishing, more trout fishing maybe, crappie fishing. We got a lot coming to you guys really soon. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. Mm -hmm.